Hi there, and welcome back to my Skyblock in the Sky. <clears throat> so in the last episode, we got ourselves set up a mob spawner over here. And uh, let's just check the status of that fluid. I think I actually disabled the output, so let's go over and check it out. So the main thing we're looking for here, of course, was ender pearls, so that we could set up some automation on that. Uh, for Tesseract, so I can just pipe this stuff straight over. Um, now the other thing is, this might be out of power, it's not, it's fine. Wow, look at all this crap. Ender pearls. we also have some mana beans going here, which is cool. Uh, very cool, actually. I'll take the bones as well. Lots of stuff. Uh, but what we're mainly looking for here is this mob essence. So if we uh, knock this out again... And... Uh, check this out. Still quite a bit to go, so um, we'll leave that run for a while more. Now, I was going to get this um, automation for the Tesseracts going, but I decided that I wanted to get into a bit of liquid crafting with the ME system because, well, I've never used it and it looks awesome. Uh, I don't know really how it works. So we're going to need a liquid crafting terminal, I think. Um, Fluid terminal, that's what we want. Access terminal. Every time I update this, this goes, changes. It's quite annoying. So we get one of those, and we also need this stuff, so we need certs glass. There we go. I suppose we'll just put it up here for now, anyway. So this will allow me to access my fluids. And I do have one almost hooked up here, but uh, yeah, one second. So I just wanted to sleep quickly there and Let's get going. So what I want to do is I want to make a fluid transposer or magma crucible. No, I don't have it. So I'm going to need some nether rack. I should have all the rest of the stuff. The only thing is, I think I am very low on netherrack. I need eight pieces. Let's just go check the lava. We are very low on lava. In fact, it might be time to do something about this lava situation because look, it's not even filling up. 
have four of these running and this thing is just not be nice oh yeah just let me go see if I can get some lava together to make the netherrack and make the magma crystal and I'll be back in a second so guys this lava situation is really just got me going there's just no lava we're, we're just not getting any lava well we are but they're going to the right places which is the engines so I was looking at the quest book and we get an endothermic pump for submitting a resonant flux capacitor so I might go ahead and build a resonant flux capacitor um, which I believe need you to upgrade right the way through I need sulfur how the do I get sulfur Um, pulverize some coal? Okay, I'm gonna pulverize some coal and see if I can get some sulfur. Okay, so I got my lead. And uh, then we can upgrade that to a hardened. I should have some Invar, I do. Uh, and then we can go up to the next level. And then some of this, ooh. I need some more sulfur, hooray. Let me go get some more sulfur. So I'm just smelting up some Mandirian. And I only need two. And that should get me a recent flux capacitor. So we can submit that now. And we'll take... We'll take the reward bag, sure. I think I have a three quarters of a heart here. Cool. So we got another red stone energy center cell, and we got a oh cool more flesh um, endothermic pump, which is what we were looking for. Let's see what we got in this bag. Dirt. <laughs> oh my god! Really, dirt. Um, probably just put this in here. In, out. Oh, it's full as well, nice. Okay, so let's get ready and we'll go to the nether. Um, so I suppose we'll take a sword. Am I wearing armor? I'm not wearing armor. I probably want to wear some armor. No, okay. <laughs> um, helmet. 
and shoes. And we're going to need a Tesseract to send this back. So, I might have to manually make one. So, I'll just make a, couple, uh, a bit more Enderium so that I can make a Tesseract. Okay, let me just do that and I'll be back in a second. Okay, guys, I'm three... Ender pearls short of being able to build the second test rack, so I'm gonna go ahead and just um, go ahead with just one test rack, which is fine because once it's set up, it should be fine. So the Nether is meant to be a hella scary place in this mod pack, um, and in my opinion, in all mod packs. So let's I'm just going to light up the top there because I don't want mobs spawning over there. Hopefully that does it. Okay, so let's light this. And hopefully we won't die instantly. I see an Enderman over there now. Okay, we're looking good so- Ah! Oh! No, I'm dying, I'm dying. Run away. Ah! I didn't. What the? Andy. There's a giant purple slime over there now. Oh, well, that was scary. Um, right, so I'm going to want this, uh, probably this, and definitely this. So let's drink one of each of these. So I'm invisible, regenerating, and have light. That should help. Oh cool, my... Oh no, actually that's probably not cool. I hope the other stuff didn't fall off the edge there, that would be awful. I have the Tesseract, I have that, I have my sword and that. I don't know where the fishing rod came from. Or the net or the rack for that reason, matter. Okay, let's quickly set this thing up. Over here on this island looks good. And looks like there's nothing here, which is the main part.
Yeah, that should be fine. Ignore that, and that's fine. So this should be working um, once, you know, we power it. So let's get back and... If I can get back. Oh, that's over here. Without dying. Ah! Oof! Ha ha! Ha ha! Scary stuff. Okay, so I got some netherrack anyway, which is one of the reasons I have another one of my heads. What? What is... Interesting. Right, so... Where did I get that fishing rod from? Seriously. Let me uh, grind up this redstone ore because... Nether ore, because I hear they're meant to be kind of crazy. Haha, <laughs> yeah, that's kind of crazy. On this sulfur ore as well. Nice. Cool, so let's... Um, smelt some of this redstone. Or netherrack. And let me just pick up all my stuff and get ready for doing something else. So I got enough ender pearls now for the second tesseract. So let's just finish making that. And let's go plug this in downstairs now. So I need this to hit the power line and also the lava line. So I think probably just... Um, if I take out this one in the back here and put this in here. There we go, look at that. Boom. We probably don't even need this anymore now. Energy. Well, that's going to solve my energy problem for a while. Oh yeah, I definitely don't need these anymore. You know what I can do? Instead, I'll just hook that up to... I need a cover. hook up this AE up there so our crucible can be ME cable can be used for uh, providing the lava to the AE system 
So that should... Yeah, we're getting lava now into our AE system. Cool. Yeah, that's going to store a lot of AE. Cool. So, there we go. We've solved our lava problem and power problem. So let's get back to automating these um, test racks. That's really cool. Let's put this here. Instead, yeah, cool. So there we are. So let's get ourselves that magma crucible that we always wanted. And I melted down some nether rack into nether bricks. So that we can get nether bricks. Perfect. Uh, so then we also want a import. And also an interface. And I need one of these as well. Ah, damn. Okay, let me do some crafting and I'll be back in a minute. Okay, so I was gonna go kind of fluid crafty on this to make the fluid things, but I said to hell with it. I'll just do it the normal way that I do it. Um, so, what we want to do is get our fluid transposer and a magma crucible. Um, magma crucible, yeah. That would be fine there, and fluid transposer there. Interesting, I could probably even use this interface. Why not? Sure. And that is in there. No, sorry, that's there and that's there. Yeah, so blue and blue. And I put it at the back. And I put it at the back. Oh, there's no way I put in that one. I not have an import as well. And I'll need some servos as well. So this is only going to take ender pearls. 
And for now, a bucket will put a tesseract frame in there as well. And import. So cool, that will be our for filling the frame and also getting the bucket of ender which we need for the pyrothium. Cool, so. Yeah, so now we just need to make the pattern. And because I don't have four ender pearls, I won't be able to make the full pattern. Four and a bucket equals and that's where we'd put it but we don't have it so we can't make it so let me just go we'll head over there now actually because i think we're getting to the end of this episode anyway so we should hopefully might maybe Ooh, bit of lag we should Hopefully, we have enough to submit this mob essence quest. I see there's an Enderman in there. We'll see if he pops out. No, we're still short. quite a bit okay well I'll tell you what we're gonna call it a day there today and finish up in the next episode so uh, you'll notice I've encased my uh, nether portal in stone completely as well in the background there so yeah until next time I will see you later